Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Update. On my video yesterday a lot of you told me you wanted me to do more speculation videos or just talk about my opinion on different things coming in the next game. And today I wanted to talk about something that we haven't really talked about a lot so far which is specific characters to specific planets. In the previous game we didn't really have that. You had some unique skins on different planets such as the Shore Trooper on Scarif or the Snow Trooper on Hoth. But in the Q&A session at Star Wars Celebration Dennis did say that you will be able to play as special characters on some planets. And here's the full audio clip with the question and I know it's very low but I simply had a little microphone on the floor that was trying to pick up the audio from the entire room. So like similar to the old Battlefront 2, how you could play as maybe like a Wookiee, like if there's a Kashyyyk battle, would like a Wookiee replace a class of a clone trooper or a like being upset that you know she would replace a, a droid? Is that be possible? Like, there will be definitely sort of my you, you, unique characters that you can play as uh, on certain times, for sure. But we're not going into specifics in terms of that. So as you can hear the examples that he brought up was Wookiees on Kashyyyk or Geonosians on Geonosis and since those two planets aren't confirmed for the next game yet and since Dennis still responded saying that you will be able to play as special characters on special planets I thought why not go through all the planets that are confirmed so far and talk about the potential characters you could play as there. I will be bringing up both skins for normal troopers and some of the indigenous species that you could either possibly play as or just ride them as vehicles basically. But no matter which of these you will be able to play as or not play as, it's still a step ahead of the previous game because in that game all you got specific to the planets were skins and not actual playable characters. So first off we have Naboo and we know that the generator room and that Theed will be in it. So it isn't really Gangan territory. But I still thought it was worth bringing up. I don't think Disney wants to include Gangans much in new content at all, at least based on how they're treated Jar Jar Binks and so on, but I still thought it was worth bringing up because who knows, maybe Gangans could be playable on this planet. But I do however think that seeing some skins such as the Royal Naboo security forces is something that is more likely than seeing Gungans. But I'm also curious to see if we will see clones on Theed or not, because we don't really see clones on Naboo in the movies, I do however think we see them on Naboo in the animated series, so it would still make sense for them to have clones on Naboo. And next up we have Endor, and well this place is quite obvious, it's most likely gonna be like the previous game where you can use this specific Endor skin for the rebels, and maybe just maybe the Ewoks will actually be part of the gameplay this time. Either that you can play them, however I do doubt that, but at least that they maybe run around and throw rocks at you, because you could see them in the previous game, but you couldn't really interact with them. If you shot at them or basically just walked up close to them, they just ran into their huts and that was about it. Next up is Starkiller Base, and I don't think we have anything specific for that planet, just the standard first order troopers like the officer, heavy, standard trooper and so on. As for Tychodana, which is the next confirmed planet, we don't know about an indigenous species on this planet and the resistant troopers and first order troopers we've seen there all looked like the standard ones. However, there is a huge castle there with a lot of different species that maybe could be playable in some way. Since most of them are unique characters and not really part of a faction, it might be tricky to actually have them playable. But since we have seen Maz Castle in the background of the trailer and we have seen tons of different characters in that castle, you never know what they could implement. Moving on we have Hoth with some quite obvious choices. We've already seen Wampas and Tauntauns in the concept art, so Tauntauns playable being used as vehicles are already confirmed. But Wampas however is a bit trickier, we can only see them very briefly in the background and I don't know if this is something they want to implement in the next game or not. I would think it was pretty cool if one of the teams could actually spawn in a Wampa and then he could go around and wreck everyone. However, I do think that Lucasfilm might not want them to pick a side, but if they are in the game and if they're actually something that affects the gameplay, I would guess that maybe they will be neutral and attack anyone who gets close to them. A little bit like the easter egg on Twilight on Hoth, just that it could affect the gameplay a bit more. And of course we have the Snow Troopers and Hoth Rebel Soldier skins which will most likely also be available on Hoth. The next confirmed planet is Vardos, and this is a planet we know very little about, so there's no point in speculating about specific skins or characters being available on just this planet. But next up we have Tatooine, Mos Eisley to be more specific, and since we only know about Mos Eisley so far, 
it's hard to know what kind of troopers that could potentially be available there, but some of the more given ones are of course the sand troopers that were also available on Tatooine in the previous game, but if we're talking about indigenous species, we of course have Tusken Raiders and Jawas. These were available in most Eisley in the classic Battlefront 2 game, so I don't see any reason to why they wouldn't be available here. But same thing with them, they don't really pick sides, so I think they would most likely be neutral and not be on any side. Which makes it hard actually having them playable and I think it's more likely that they will just be in the background. But we also have Rontos and Yopis, or however you pronounce them, which we actually have seen in the trailer. So both of those will probably be on the map and affect the gameplay. I'm guessing that the Ronto might be something neutral because it's so big, but then the Eopis will be rideable just as the Tauntauns, as some sort of vehicles simply. And the next planet we have is Camino, and I don't think we will see any specific species here, because the Caminoans are not fighters at all, they make the clones, but they would never be seen on the battlefront shooting a blaster. So I can guarantee you they will not be playable. And the other thing is that pretty much all clones originate from Camino, meaning that they can put pretty much every type of clone they want to there and motivate that because that's where they originate from. So it's very hard to guess if there will be any specific type of clone that will only be available on this planet. But I think it would be cool if they had maybe some sort of Camino Special Forces clones that will only be available on this map. And next up we have Jakku, and Jakku doesn't have a lot of indigenous species, the only one we know about that we've seen in the movie is the Tido species. And it's a very small scavenge like species that I could see being in the background, but I'm not really sure if we could see them being playable. However, there is a lot of immigrated species just as on Tatooine, so we could possibly see some other species showing up on Jakku, but they don't really have that unique species that everyone will expect on Jakku. And the last planet confirmed is Yavin 4, and we don't know about any specific species there either, and since that's where a lot of the rebels originate from, or at least the base is there, that means that we can see a very big range of rebel skins on that specific map. So as you can hear, there's not too much we can figure out from these different planets in terms of special characters. And the two examples that was brought up during the Q&A, Dionosians on Dionosis and Wookiees on Kashyyyk, are a lot more clear than pretty much anything I brought up in this video, because those two have picked a specific side. We have Wookiees on the Republic side and Dionosians on the Separatist side, so if any of those two planets are confirmed, I can almost guarantee that those two specific species will be available on those planets, as many of the things I brought up in this video are either just skins for the standard troopers, or indigenous species that haven't really picked a side, except for the Ewoks however, they could still be on the rebel side, but things like Wampas, Tusken Raiders or Jawas haven't really picked any side, so those will most likely be neutral, and I don't see any way that they could be on a specific side. But if you guys have any specific things for these planets I brought up that you think could be in the game, because I'm sure I missed something, feel free to leave a comment below, as I'm curious to see what you guys make of the statement that Dennis made. I just think that they might reveal more Clone Wars planets down the line, and when they do that, we might get some more clear special characters that you can use on those planets. But that is all for this video, thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.